It's really useful to walk in the landscape to get to places that you can't see from the road where there's large expanses of land where you feel as if you're on top of the world. It puts things into perspective in terms of your scale, who you are, what you do, maybe how insignificant that is, more so how grand the landscape is, how voluminous and how vast it is. And in this part of the world, in Yorkshire, you can see it all and you can see for miles and you can see the structure of the land, the way it folds, the way it curves, the way it collects water. The folds and the cloughs and the valleys create fantastic interlocking spurs of land that I've used a lot in my drawings. I've used them again and again, trying to describe the structure of the land through the way that I draw. I work with oil bars and graphite to create marks on paper that are inspired by my photographs. I'm not trying to copy the landscape, I'm just being informed by its composition and intuitively put marks down in response to what I've experienced on my walk and what I see in my photographs. It's not important to me that you can necessarily tell where each drawing comes from. In many respects the drawings are a means to an end, they're not meant to be the end result. They give me speedy, energetic, spontaneous, expressionistic marks that I can use to inform my stitches when I move into thread and onto fabric. There's a connection between the walking, the drawing and the stitch. They each establish a rhythm and there's a sense of energy in all of them. I can't suddenly sit down at a sewing machine and expect it all to work perfectly. There's a relationship between myself and the sewing machine and I need to get to know the sewing machine again, introduce myself again and get into a stride and get into a rhythm with the machine so that we're comfortable with one another so that I can flow and I can zoom along at a, at a marching pace. I feel sometimes when I'm walking, I've been walking for maybe an hour or so, I've loosened up enough and if I'm going downhill a little way, I'm nearly ready to run. The momentum moves you forward and moves you on. And so when I'm on my sewing machine, it feels the same. I'm speeding away and I'm running with the thread. I'm running with the stitches. It's quite exciting, it's quite exhilarating to be able to do that in the same way it's exhilarating when you're walking. I still want to keep that same fiery vitality that I have on the paper and my machine goes really fast. Obviously the thread is so much thinner than the oil bars that I work with. It takes that bit longer to fill up an area but the machine is stitching so quickly, 1600 stitches a minute that I have to really keep my wits about me to be able to keep up with it. I really want my stitch and embroidery to show the vitality and the speed and the energy that my drawn work has. I am full of energy as an individual and I want that to be immediately reflected within my work.